about 90% of the people out there live their life and they hope that nothing will happen to their loved ones, their data, their system, whatever, to their business. And they hope that everything will work as it should forever. Unfortunately, life doesn't work this way. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to create backups for most of the Zoho One applications and how to create a healthy routine that once a month or once a week, you're going to create a set of backups and those backups will help you stay alive. Okay, don't go with the hope you. I hope that my data will be okay. Your data will not be okay. It's a question of time until one of your employees will screw up your data, until something will happen with the system, until there will be a bug or some problem and your data will be gone. And then you will call Zo. you will hope that they will have the data for you and they will tell you that they gave you the option to back up the data, but you didn't. So please take action on this video. Take your backups and the next time that you will have some kind of a problem, you will go back to those backups and it will save the day. Okay, so let's begin. In this session, we are going to work on all those applications that you see here. I'm going to show you how to create backups for each one of them. The first one that we're going to start, we'll start on the bottom, will be Zoho CRM. In order to create a backup for Zoho CRM, you go to Zoho CRM. On the right side, you will click on the settings and then you will click on data backup. Okay, it will be under data administration. Now, if you do not see this option, it means that you don't have enough permissions and you will need to ask permission for someone to do it for you. Click on data backup. And if you do not see what I see here, okay, just click on start backup and it will start the backup automatically for you. Just so you know, you're getting two backups. So every two weeks, you're getting one backup free of charge from Zo. And whenever the backup runs, you will see what I see here. You will see the data and the attachment. You will click on the data. You will click also on the attachments. Both of them will be downloaded. In my case, I am creating a Onzo work drive, a secure stuff folder that I'm backing up everything to this folder. And also this folder is being synced with my desktop. So I have everything secure on the work drive and also on my folder on my desktop. So I have two places that I keep all the backups. I will click on the CRM folder and then I will just upload both of those backups. Okay. So now my CRM is backed up. It's all good. In the next two weeks, I will do the rest. Next, I am going with Zoho Sign. Now, Zoho Sign is a different feature for you. With Zoho Sign, if you will click on settings and then you go to account settings, you will see that you have an option automatic cloud backup. If you will click on enable, okay, you will be able to choose where you want to backup. In my case, I'm going with work drive. I will click here on the three dots and we'll go to secure stuff and we'll select my Zoho sign folder. Click on add this to folder and then you can select here which format you want to have. I prefer to have the file name and the date. This is the most convenient for me. And I will also include the certification of completion. That will be a, a certification that's showing that the person actually signed the document and it's catching the IP and everything that you need and click on save. The backups of everything that you will do will go to the secure folder, which is uh, this guy. Okay. So you will have here the backups of everything from Zoho sign that you are going to sign. Next, we are going with Zoho campaigns. Uh, with Zoho campaigns, it's interesting. So with Zoho campaigns, there used to be an export option in the settings so if you go to settings and under the data administration there was your export and this is what i used 
but I can't see it anymore and I don't see also a backup option. But what I do until Zoho will come back to me with an answer is go to reports and then send campaigns and then here export campaigns, export reports, and then I just export them. Okay, and when it's exported, I just upload it to the campaigns. So that's that's a workaround that you can use for now until I will get an answer from Zoe and I will update you. For now, I don't know what's going on with it. Next, we need to backup desk. Now, in order to backup desk, you will need to go to the settings on the right side and then you will need to click on the import export and when you see this page you go to the left side and you click on export now here you can see that you can uh, export many things the most important one i think will be probably the export tickets and when you go to export tickets you can select different views um, you can just select the old tickets and all tickets will give you an export of everything that you have in your system and of course whenever you finish uh, to download it you just go to desk you click on this csv and you upload it okay so that's that's what you can do with the zoo desk please know that if you have a big zoo desk system that will not work because this is limited for for a certain amount of uh, of records so if it's bigger than that probably you need to talk to zo and uh, figure out what you're going to do with uh, the backups next let's go back to secure stuff and zo books if we go to zo books on the right side of zo books you have the settings and then on the bottom you have data backup you need to click on backup your data and then whenever it will create the backup, it will send you an email. Please know that it takes about 20 minutes or so for the backup to be ready. You will get an email that is saying that the backup was initiated. And then after 20 minutes or so, that the backup is ready for you. And you will need to click on export status will be your uh, backup. And below download link, you can click and download the backup. And when you download it, shockingly you go to the books and just upload the version okay so this is what you do with zoo books uh, one more thing that you can do with zoo books just so you know in case that you don't need the entire backup and you just need partial backup so for example let's say all your estimates that's what's an interest to you you just go to the module and then you can click on those uh, lines and then you can just export just the estimates so that's something that you can do no problem. Next, we need to go to analytics. So analytics is also very important. Most people will spend thousands of dollars to set up their analytics and that's expensive. And if something happens to your analytics, you have no way to go back. So I prefer to do my backups. So I go to the specific uh, 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 workspace and then I go to settings on the bottom and then I go to backup and then I create, let's say a daily or a weekly, whatever you want, some kind of a backup and then I close it. And then those backups will take place and whenever they're ready, you just go to all the analytics folder and you upload them. Okay, let's continue. Next will be ZooClick. Uh, for people that are using ZooClick, I can tell you that tons of very valuable information is going through trick click so you do need to back up so click it's very very important if you will go to the picture on the right side and then you go to the admin panel you will see on the bottom the export option you click on export you will click on new export and then you will get something like that okay you click on export you save the file and then you upload it into the specific place okay so this is about zoo click next we have zoo connect also zoo connect for people that are using zoo connect it's uh, it includes lots of valuable information .com. and in order to backup 
connect you will go to the settings on the right side you will click on settings and then you will have the export option here okay you will click on new export it will create a new export for you download and then you upload it into your connect folder okay so that's the same like the previous one like so click almost the same thing you create an export and then you download it next is Zoho Vault if you're using Zoho Vault you understand that Zoho Vault is keeping all your passwords if you do not have quality backup for it it can be painful okay so please do the backups go to the settings and first of all you can export the passwords and that's option number one option number two is to go with the backup option and you go to the data backup and you set up a data backup you can see here okay you just set up the backup and then there will be a daily backup for you and when you have the backups you just go here to Zoho Vault and you will upload those passwords make sure that this folder that keeps all your backups is extremely secure because if you do not have someone that you trust with this data he has access to your clients with CRM to your problems with Zodesk your password with Zoho Vault this is like serious so please have someone that you trust uh, having access to it or maybe only yourself so uh, it's very very important next we have Zo Notebook and Zo Notebook in my case for example it will carry lots of important things for example every client of mine will be on my Zoho books every note that I take my thinking time when I just sit down think and try to run my business all those will be on the, on the notebook so it's very very important information and it must be secure safe and backed up so in order to back up you go to the picture and then you go to the settings and then you have here the export ability and then you click on export and that's done next we have Zo people if you use Zo people you will need to back up Zo people because it will hold all your HR all your information very very important so in order to do that you go to settings you go to backup which will be here under data administration and then you just create a backup okay and whenever the backup is done as you understand you will upload it into your zo work drive next we have zo recruit in order to backup zo recruit you will need to go to the settings on the right side and then you will see here under data administration you will see data backup so you will go here you can do for example every two weeks in the end you will choose never and then you click submit now the process will work and same like so CRM whenever you will have those backups you download them and you upload them to Zo work drive Next we have Zoho Forms. Zoho Forms is a bit different than the others because the backup is dependent on specific forms. Let's say that I have here this specific uh, uh, form. I will go to all entries and then under all entries uh, I will click on export and that will be the export button. Okay, so you go to this button and you export. This is how you save them. Now, if you have lots of forms, you will need to do it for each one of them. So in the bottom line is when you go to forms, you will have here a folder for each form. And inside each form, you will have the relevant backups. Now, in my case, I never backup Zoho Forms because for me, Zoho Forms is just a way to push information to Zoho CRM or other applications. So I don't really keep information in my Zoho Forms. But if you are, this is what you need to do. One more thing that you can do with the uh, Zoho Forms is to go to the settings on the top right and then go to control panel and then you click on data export. You click on new export. You still need to select the form.
Okay, you cannot select multiple forms and then you click on export. So it's basically almost the same thing that I showed you before, but that's just another way that you can do it. Next we have Zo Survey. Zo Survey is uh, almost the same like Zo Forms. So when you go to the form itself or the survey itself, uh, you will be able to see on the left side the reports. And when you click on the reports, you will go to export and you can select how you want to export the information. So that's, that's a way to do it from here. And of course, you can also do it with Zo Sheet or other things, but it's up to you what you want to do. Okay, and whenever you do, you can go to export, for example, as CSV, and then you just upload it into the correct folder. So that's it. That was the session. I know it wasn't the most exciting session, but in the day that you will have a problem, this is what will save your day. That's the mighty mouse that flying through the door and saving the day. Okay, so that's important. So thank you very much for watching this session. If you have a question or something, shoot them in the comments below. If you liked it or it will help you, like is always appreciated. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next session. Mm.